Oh, that's so good. Oh, hello everybody. This is Health Highlights. Health Highlights is a show about health, health professionals and the people and the stories behind the names that we hear about but we seldom get to meet. Now you may not realize at this but today there's a, a bit of a fad going on around about essential oils and it's really taking over a lot of things to do with health and it's become a six billion dollar business worldwide um, essential oils. So we wanted to dig a little bit deeper today and so we've invited one of the leading advocates for essential oils, um, Sophie Elcock. Welcome Sophie. Thanks for having me Simon. So Sophie is a, um, a lead advocate for doTERRA um, and also a naturopath of about 15 years experience. So she comes highly qualified to talk to us today around the whole subject of essential oils. So Sophie, firstly, how did, it, how did you come to be in essential oils? That's a good question, Simon. I ran a private practice for a number of years and really enjoyed treating people naturopathically. But one of my biggest frustrations was giving people a whole heap of naturopathic prescription or protocol and then having them come back and say it didn't work because it was too rigorous and I couldn't follow the protocol. Whereas with essential oils, once I discovered those, it was just an easy, quick application that had very fast, effective results. So the clients loved it, I loved it, and that's where we've gone. We all loved it, that's fabulous. <laughs> so there has certainly been a surge of late around essential oils. Um, is there a reason why suddenly this has really started to take off in our community? Yeah, I believe, well the health and wellness industry is growing quite massively on a whole worldwide and I believe that demand is fueled by people's awareness recently and understanding of the importance of natural and organic substances in not just their medications but personal care, cosmetics, nutraceuticals, just the importance of what you put into your body or the quality of what you put into your body determines the outcome of your health on the other end. And essential oils is a very easy modality to tie in with that. So it's something that every family, every household can easily begin incorporating um, along with or to complement their existing healthcare regime. And so doTERRA, um, can you just tell us a little bit about the company and their mission? Yeah, so doTERRA was founded in 2008 and their mission is to supply normal families worldwide with a high quality product that they can begin using and supplementing to support healthcare and to enhance their family's health and wellness, not just to uh, patch up problems that have already occurred, but it's uh, preventative healthcare. So doTERRA actually means gift of the earth and all the oils that doTERRA supply are 100% plant based only and there's no fillers or additives or any adulterants in any way. So a very pure product. Wonderful. So, so here's some of the products here. So can you explain a little bit how the oils actually produce? So obviously they're obviously extracts from plants. Um, so how do they get the extracts um, to be able to put into the bottle like this? Okay, so they take the raw plant material and the oils can come from many different parts of the plant depending on the species, but they'll take that raw plant material and put it into a big vat and then run high pressured steam through it and the steam releases the oils. The oils are volatile compounds so they're very easily evaporated and as the oil is released it's captured in um, like a distillation process and then the oil will drip into a separate vat just for the oil and so that's where most of the oils are produced that way. The citrus oils are cold press extracted, so it's just running the oils through a press to release the oil out from the plant. And obviously there's no processing or anything else to do with the oils, it's very natural there's, as you said. There's no other processing. They do make some of their own proprietary blends here at doTERRA, so some of the oils are blended, but there's nothing else added. And so if I was to get some of these oils, how, like obviously we've got the steamer here, so how, how are application, how do you actually use them? Okay, so the oils are used, there's a number of ways you can use them. This is actually a diffuser, so it's, there's no heat involved, it's not steam. It's, there's an oscillating plate at the bottom which uh, vaporises water and oil into a mist and it's such a fine mist that this can be easily inhaled. So inhalation is actually the fastest way to receive a benefit mm -hmm. from the essential oils. Another way is topically and so it's just as simple as some lavender and you can apply it neat to the skin for those oils that are safe to do so and they will penetrate through the layers of the skin into the interstitial fluid and the blood. And thirdly, with oils that are pure only, this is very specific to doTERRA or companies that follow this protocol, you can take them internally. Right. Yeah. And so and what then um, leading on to that, so what are the actual health benefits um, of some of these oils and for example, what sort of conditions would someone uh, have that really would benefit from these? 
Okay, so you can pretty much cover or at least support and enhance the treatment of almost any condition there exists in the body. Um, just to backtrack a little bit, plants actually produce essential oils as their defense mechanism against disease, bacteria, viral, fungal, wow. even against soil nutrient deficiencies, sun damage and pollution. So when we take the oils in their pure form like this and we apply them to our body or inhale them, our body will respond in a similar way to the plant and will be supported that way. So. Um, they're very high in antioxidant compounds. They can help with sun damage or any way that the cell has been damaged due to oxidative stress. And we hear a lot about that free radical damage. Yep. They can support immunity. They can support stress and sleep and mood disorders, sensory processing issues. Um, you can touch on pretty much <laughs> whichever disease or maligned health topic you like using the oils. And so I suppose there's a question that a lot of people would ask, particularly in the scientific world, is, well, what's the actual research to back up the effectiveness of these? Obviously, you know, there's anecdotal evidence, but what's the scientific evidence to sort of show the effect yeah. of these? And that's a very important question. There's a ton of anecdotal evidence out there, but scientifically, we need to have that to validate what we're doing therapeutically. Uh, we're seeing more and more scientific research published uh, lately just because of the rise in the essential oil industry but much of the research is looking at the individual chemical compounds within the oil and most of the research is done on oils that are pure so you can't just go into a, a supermarket and buy uh, a cheaper version of an adulterated oil and expect the same results as as the research is staying so number one purity and potency is really important but research is also validating the use of the oils uh, despite their smell. So they're validating, yes, these oils contain very potent chemicals and these chemicals interact with receptor sites within the body, all over the body in various tissues and will provoke a response that way. And so, yeah, so that leads to, okay, so what's the chemical reactions or how is it beneficial to it? So when I get into my system, what are some of the things that are happening to actually bring better health to my system? Okay, so just recently in the last year, they've um, published a study which has been quite exciting on blood pressure and the effect that pettigrain essential oil has on blood pressure and they've shown the benefit of pettigrain being able to relax and dilate the blood vessel walls without actually affecting heart rate so you can lower blood pressure without lowering the heart rate and similarly wow. lots of studies studies are being done on different oils all the time if you jump onto any of the peer-reviewed medical journals you will find reams and reams of information but some of the more exciting ones are the use of frankincense and sandalwood and some of the oils that contain a substance called sesquiterpenes and they can actually cross the blood-brain barrier which is very significant in the medical field because not many pharmaceuticals can do that. So this gives us direct access to neurotransmitters within the brain and it enables you to directly start to influence and stimulate healthy um, neurotransmitter and brain function. So that's looking at conditions like schizophrenia, Parkinson's, um, any like autism, Asperger's, any sensory processing disorder, even mood and depression. And definitely nobody's claiming that these oils will treat those conditions, but they can support and enhance existing medical treatment and therapy. And so if I was to say put it on my skin or inhale it, so what you're saying is that those chemicals get into my system and then they diffuse across into my bloodstream and then they diffuse across to the areas that um, are going to be beneficial. Is that how basically it will work? That's how it works. So one essential oil is literally comprised of hundreds of chemical compounds and these chemical compounds each have their own unique structure and all essential oils are fat soluble so they will easily pass through the cell membrane and then into the tissues um, interstitial fluid and into the blood once they are there depending on what chemical compounds are in that particular oil they will be drawn to or have an affinity to different receptor sites yep. and as the oil molecule or the chemical compound floats along it will fill that receptor site and trigger whatever the response is that that receptor normally triggers. Wonderful. So now if I'm on medications um, and I'm taking, I've got a condition and I'm on some meds from my doctor, is there potential interaction problems um, with some of these is using this as well or do I need to maybe consult someone in that case or how does that work? Yes, and that's a good question. There can well be uh, potential interactions. It's a very, and even with drugs and pharmaceuticals, it's a very... Um, difficult field to research because each different person has their own physiology yep. but generally because the oils don't contain proteins or amino acids you are safe with most medications also another thing is the oils only take minutes to be 
down to a cellular level and then only hours to be excreted. So there's not much of an interaction time between a medication and the oil interacting. So it's easy to apply them separate to a dose of medication or and in many cases they can support that medication. There's um, a study being published just recently which is quite exciting involving oils from or compounds from citrus oils showing that it can actually enhance the chemotherapeutic benefits for brain cancer. Traditionally, we haven't been able to treat brain cancer with chemo because it can't cross the blood-brain barrier, but these oils are actually, or well, the compounds in the oils are actually transporting the chemo across and into the brain tumour. Wonderful. So you can use them conjunctively yeah. depending upon the oil. Wonderful. Wow, that's wonderful information, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are very interested in hearing all of that. Just one final question. We're coming into, what's well, 2018. Yeah. What would you be your top couple of tips for being healthy throughout next year? Yes, um, another good question, Simon. I really, really endorse proactive healthcare as opposed to reactive healthcare. So one of the biggest ways you can make an effect on your health is to use an antioxidant daily. And we have known about antioxidants for generations through plant sources. But something you may not know is, I don't actually have the clove oil here, but clove oil is contains the highest oxygen radical absorbance capacity of any plant known to man. Wow. So just one drop of clove oil daily on your skin, on the soles of your feet or inhaled is enough to begin repairing cell damage due to oxidative stress. So I would say a drop of oil on your skin every day. Sounds wonderful. Well, look, thank you, so, Sophie, so much for coming in. We really appreciate your time. Um, we know how busy you are. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. I am sure that you've your head is spinning with all that knowledge. And if you want to find out any more information, um, please jump on the website that you see below or you can make a comment on our Facebook page and we will forward that on to Sophie and she'll get back to us with an answer for you. Look, thanks for joining us. We have an incredible interview for you next week. So remember, Wednesday, 12.30, same time, same place. Remember, healing is a gift, health a responsibility. Have a fantastic week. See you later. Thank you, Sophie. Okay.